Hey everybody, this is Jason Akers again with Green Acres Pest Control and today I want to go over the differences between bat bugs and bed bugs. So you think you have bed bugs. You may not have bed bugs. They may look like bed bugs. They may bite you like bed bugs. They may be causing you trouble just like bed bugs do, but they're not actually bed bugs. So I'm going to show you a clip of me doing a bat exclusion. So I was doing an exclusion for bats. And here's where they've been getting into this louver vent here. And if we go up here and we look, what is that we see? That is called a bat bug. Looks like a bed bug, doesn't it? Look at this. Okay, so you've seen the bat bugs. Maybe you've seen the same thing around your bed. Now, the difference between bat bugs and bed bugs is only visible under a microscope. Bat bugs have longer hairs around their facial face, you know, around your, their, their body. Bed bugs and bat bugs both have these little tiny hair follicles on their body, but bat bugs are actually more prominent. Uh, they also have a different shaped eye. I'm going to show you in, a, in an image uh, that I found on Google, but uh, just to give you an idea of the difference between them. But visually, if you were to see them, uh, you can't actually tell the difference with the naked eye unless you have at least a 30 time magnification lens which you can get like a jeweler's lens you don't need a microscope you can see them with just a regular magnification lens uh, to compare the two they're very hard to tell apart unless you know what to look for so hopefully this video has been uh, helpful to you now I want to explain you could like the video you could share the video around for people that you think might have bed bugs but they don't know if they have bed bugs or not. Um, it may not be bed bugs. It may actually be bat bugs. If you have a problem with bats roosting in your attic or on the sides of your house and you've started noticing uh, bed bug type bugs around your bed, it very well could be that you actually have bat bugs and not bed bugs at all. Um, because the thing is, is that they will feed off of you too. Bat bugs can actually feed off of humans. They can bite you and get what they need just, just like bed bugs can. They prefer bats. They want bats. That's what they're actually attracted to. But once they get into your home, they're perfectly happy biting you. So how do you deal with bat bugs if you notice that you've gotten them? So you go ahead, treat the house for bed bugs like you normally would do. You should only need one treatment seal the bats out of your house. Keep them out of your house so that you don't have problems with bats coming in and roosting inside your house. Check your chimney. Make sure you don't have bats going down in your chimney. Put a chimney cap on to keep the bats out. And usually you need to do this type of work after dark. So if they're going down your chimney, you definitely need to wait until they've all flown out after dark to install your chimney cap. And once you do this, the bat bugs will leave your home and then you can eliminate the bat bugs that are coming in on the bats and this will help you in the long run eliminate your bat bugs without an extremely expensive bed bug service. If you're interested in any of the chemicals used for bed bugs or bat bugs, check the links below and I will give you all the information that you need and hopefully this video has helped you eliminate your bat bug problem and I will see you in the next one. Thanks.